Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Sprocket yet again, and today we're actually going to be designing something completely new. It is going to be designed around the KV-2, also known as the fridge, and uh, honestly that is the only sort of thing that I can give you guys. The other thing is, it's going to have a 250mm calibre gun, and it is going to be able to destroy a King Tiger, hopefully in one shot. Anyway, let's go ahead and start designing, shall we? Oh, and I should mention, it isn't this thing in the background. Okay, so we're going to do another one of those videos where it is a talk over, and like I said in the intro, we are going to try and build a fridge. Uh, it is going to be a tank with a giant turret, and hopefully it is going to be able to destroy a King Tiger in one shot. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and start off by adding some tracks. Uh, I did want to get some spacing on these guys and put them in groups of about three, uh, but I was finding that a little bit difficult. Uh, don't ask me why. I have no idea why I found it difficult, but there you go. Anyway, I think I did end up settling for groups of two. I made them a little bit smaller and... Oh no, I did three! I did two groups of three. Sorry, I completely forgot about that. Um, but yeah, I wanted this to look really cool. I wanted the wheels themselves to actually work and also look very nice as they went. Uh, I decided that the return rollers should actually be quite big on this thing, and also the tracks themselves should actually be quite big too. So, as you guys can see, I'm going to go ahead and make them a little bit thicker, and that looks pretty awesome. And then I needed everything else to actually fit in the tracks as well, because at the minute, they didn't. Anyway, that's the tracks done, let's go ahead and move on to the body. So, I like the idea of making this thing quite flat, so that's sort of what I ended up doing. Um, I believe I wanted some sort of fenders on this thing, and there you go, fenders have been added. I think I stayed with the default ones, but I actually added the, uh, the new curve on the front end, which actually looks pretty good, so I'm really happy with that. Anyway, I figured the front end was a little bit too flat, so I made it a little bit more angled, and the rear end I also made angled too, because otherwise it was way too flat. I then added a shelf because I thought the shelf would look really cool, and honestly, I think it does. So that is very, very nice. Um, I went ahead and used the Japanese crew hatches, and I added these little uh, viewports above because I thought that would look good, and uh, honestly, I think it does. I then added a little bit more detail using riveted panels because they usually look quite nice, and then a bunch of D-rings and the normal thing that I do on the front, which is this uh, riveted panel as well. So there you go. I then checked if it moved, <laughs> for some reason, uh, which it does, and then I found these fenders, which are the uh, the British ones, and I really like the way they look, so I decided to actually use them as a little bit of detail on the top, and honestly, I think that's quite a good idea. More riveted panels, and a commander's cupola right here in the middle, uh, I just think it's a cool looking hatch, so that's why I did it, and I also added a gun on the front as well. Again, I think that's actually quite a good addition, and that's pretty awesome. I then added, added it, added a riveted panel at the front as well to try and make it fit in nicely, um, and that was pretty good. And then some stowages on the side. I need to get better at adding the stowages, honestly. Um, but yeah, anyway, lights. Go ahead and put D-rings on each side of the light. Crew hatch on the back so we can actually get in here, and that looks awesome. I also wanted to actually add fuel tanks back here as well, because it's quite protected back there, so I feel like that makes sense. We then added a... Oh, oh! this is where I added the exhaust, actually. The exhaust is really cool. Um, I found the flip function, finally, and uh, I think that looks awesome. That exhaust system right there looks really good. It's exactly what I wanted. Then we go ahead and we actually add a bunch of rivets. There is so many rivets that get added to this thing, it's kind of crazy. Um, but I didn't go too overboard. I just put on the ones that we needed, um, the ones that looked good, and honestly, I do think it looks pretty nice. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, ladders, okay, because obviously you want ladders, and then we started work on the actual turret, which is um, pretty cool. Now, I'm going to say um, already that this isn't quite like the KV-2 in terms of the turret is absolutely ginormous, although it is, like this gun and the turret is actually massive, um, but it's not as big in proportion to the rest of the tank, if that makes sense. The hole on this thing isn't actually that small, in fact, it is very big. Uh, but here we go. The turret is going to be very square shaped because I thought it was going to be a lot like a KV-2 and I wanted the uh, the turret ring to raise it up a little bit as well, which is something that we did actually manage to do. I then wanted a uh, commander's cupola to go on top of this thing as well and a bunch more riveted panels because at the minute it looked quite ugly. I then had this weird obsession with adding these D-rings everywhere and uh, then I thought about it and I was like, no, <laughs> I don't want those. And then I was trying to figure out what to put on the side. 
Um, and I couldn't quite work it out, but then I went with these. Because, honestly, the tarps actually look pretty good. Um, so there you go. Then some sleeping bags on the side as well, because that makes sense. And then I wanted to try and figure out what kind of mantlet to actually use. Now, I really struggle with this, because I feel like I do it wrong every time. Um, and I feel like it's really hard to actually make them fit right. But I do think we ended up getting it right in the end. Um, because I think this actually looks pretty awesome. Anyway, we, I went ahead and done a 250 caliber gun. And then I made it, I think, about 1.5 meters long. Uh, if not 2 meters long. And then the gun sight goes up there. And honestly, that looks really cool. But it does make it look a little bit like a Warhammer tank. I'm not going to lie. I added side guns because I thought they would be really, really cool. And uh, I do think they sort of fit the aesthetic of the tank. Anyway, more rivets. Add more rivets. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, so more rivets go on this thing. Honestly, I think rivets look really, really cool. Uh, in some situations. In other situations, they don't really work. But that's okay. Um, and yeah. I didn't quite add them everywhere, and I didn't quite add them in all of the places where you'd think you'd add them. Uh, but I do think it looks good in the places where we have them. So there you go. Bam! Nice. Um, so from there, I'm not entirely sure what I do next, to be honest. But um, the rivets look good. I do some testing. I think, yeah, camouflage is next. I wanted this to be, like, nice looking, but we went with some sort of, like, really bright green. And I couldn't decide what country it should belong to either, but... I think in the end, we did actually get it. Anyway, um, next, we added some rounds. I kind of feel like this was a bit of a mistake now, so I might change these. Uh, but essentially, I added six rounds in the turret. Um, I then added a bunch of armor everywhere. I don't think I added maximum armor anywhere, unless I did it on the flat pieces, which I think I did, actually, in the end. Um, but yeah, the maximum amount of armor of this thing is like 200 mil, but most of it is like 140. So that's pretty cool. We'll have to see what that actually counts as against a King Tiger. But anyway, it moves. It's pretty nice. Um, I went ahead and did some radi ratio changes as well. Um, we had to make everything fit as well, which was kind of crazy. Uh, you know, making things fit is kind of difficult sometimes. Um, and then I just decided to add a little bit of, like, ventilation. Because I know a few of you guys complained before that the crew had no ventilation. I wanted to give them some. Anyway, I added these trench crossing things because I thought a round front would look pretty cool. And then I added a bunch more thingamabobbies as well. Here you go. Look at that. More vents on the back. Nice. Some little ladders as well. Some little ladders around the front end. And honestly, I think we did a really, really, really good job with this thing. So now, let's go ahead and test it. Okay, so here it is. Do we expect it to get annihilated straight away by the King Tiger? We need to learn how to aim, and then we need to shoot. Oh, man. Oh, sorry, and the other thing that we need to do in this one is actually make it AP as well. Sorry, I completely forgot about that. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, right, it missed. Aim quite high. Fire. There we go. So it can one-shot a King Tiger. Um, on the other hand, it does actually get annihilated <laughs> by a King Tiger as well. So both tanks can equally destroy each other. Cool. Okay, guys, I don't expect to do any good on this map, but uh, we are going to try it. So, uh, we killed the King Tiger, okay? We know that it can do its job. However, can it do more than its job? It needs to take out six tanks here. Uh, a bunch of them are actually heavy tanks, and some of them are light tanks. But, how is this going to go? Two of my tanks have already fired and missed their targets, so how is it going to work uh, if that's the case? Well, it's gonna be tricky, so let's see. Here we go. Aim at the target. I have hit the target and it didn't go through. The main reason for that, I believe, is actually because I changed my ammunition from AP to APHE again. So I need to change that. Okay, guys, we're going in again. We have now got AP rounds. Hopefully my allied tanks will actually be able to... Uh, to work on this one. I don't know whether they will. I really don't. But uh, we're going to try it out. So if I can get all of my guys over here to line up with me. Um, we can then actually be a fighting force. And hopefully it'll work. So I'm going to go ahead and sit right here. Hopefully my guys will actually come over to me. I don't think they're going to though. Where's this guy even at? Oh, never mind. Okay, attack. Just attack guys. Go, go, go. Okay, I don't know where the enemies are. This is going to be a struggle. This tank, actually, that I'm in right now is in the wrong place. 
Like, it's just in a very, very vulnerable position here. And I don't like it. Oh, yikes. I knew it was going to happen, but it's still sad. Two of my guys have died so far to light tanks. I don't know how that's happened, but it has. Okay, some enemies have been spotted. One of them is just driving out in the open right there. Let's try and shoot him first. I think I missed. <laughs> I think I legit... I don't know what happened there, but I think I missed. Anyway, uh, there's still six enemies. I need to use this gun as soon as possible. There is actually an enemy right here. It didn't go through, but it almost did. All right, reverse. Reverse. I don't think we can tank around from this guy. I don't think we can. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, there you go. So, I think it is worth mentioning um, with this game, and with these tanks, I suppose, uh, is it matters what kind of scenario you use vehicles in. Uh, let's say this guy right here, obviously it has a very short barrel, which means it doesn't have very high velocity, which means it doesn't really go through armor. However, it is designed to have APHE rounds in, or even just HE rounds, to destroy bunkers. And uh, obviously that isn't a scenario in this game, so it doesn't really work. But, we're going to go ahead and try again. Uh, we're going to go straight back in there and see if we can uh, at least do a little bit of damage. Let's go. Okie dokie, again, I feel like we are going to struggle with this, but let's go ahead and try it anyway. So, I can see an enemy tank all the way out there. Let's go ahead and try and shoot the light one first. It bounced off the top of it. But it didn't actually count as a hit, so I don't know what happened there. Oh, that guy's already dead. <laughs> Sag! Oh, this is so sad. I can't actually move this one either. It seems to be stuck in a tree. <laughs> I'm legit stuck in a tree. Ah! Okay, can I just ram the tree down? No, I can't do anything with the tree. Okay, I'm getting out of here with this guy. Let's go. Do we see any more enemies? I see an enemy right there. Aim high. Ten seconds. The guy behind me has been destroyed. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Fire! There we go. We destroyed one tank, guys. That's all we wanted. That's all we've ever wanted. <laughs> okay, I believe there is another enemy up here. So we're going to go ahead and try and sneak attack it. When I say sneak attack, I mean we're going to go ahead and fully show ourselves. And then shoot it in the side. Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. Straight on the bottom. Yes! Alright, we killed it. Reverse! They are shooting this tank next to me. Uh, because it is in between me and them. So I'm going to reverse out of there. It is now two versus four. Okay, we're not doing as horribly as I thought we were. Excellent. Who's shooting me? I can't actually see any enemies that are shooting me. But someone is. I'm going to change target. Here we go. Oh, never mind. Probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> okay, we're so dead. We are so dead. Once we're surrounded, this tank is uh, actually kind of useless. But, um, yeah. Okay. Where are the enemies at? The camouflage on this map is actually really good. Not gonna lie. I feel like maybe... I mean, because they're AI, me having camouflage doesn't actually change a single thing. But, um... It'd be cool if it did. You know? Where is this enemy that's shooting me? Oh, never mind. Okay, so, turns out the fridge, not actually very good at fighting tanks. I would imagine actually pretty good at fighting bunkers. But that's not what is in the game. So there you go. But anyway, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video and you actually like the look of the tank, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, obviously, it didn't actually end up working too well, but I still think it's a pretty cool vehicle. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.